God. But he's the same concept. You can't I'm, answer I'm yes or no. According to him, he's not the same concept. So answer the question. He can't answer yes or no. He's not human. Are you going to answer or not? In your own words. In your own words, answer the question. Is the, is the sacrifice of the Son of God, which is Jesus Christ according to you, was that a sacrifice of a human or a sacrifice of God Almighty? Who died? God or human? Jesus Christ. Died. Why you must tell me? So Jesus, Jesus Christ is the one who died on the cross and sacrificed right. for the sins of the world. Good. And he is the son of God. And he's the son of God. Yeah. But not God, right? I said the son of God. But not God. Why did I tell you answer? God. Come on, the God the son of God. That. I, I mean, I'm not getting involved in this, but I'm listening to both sides. He has uh, he's answered that. Which I question did he answer? With regards to the son. Okay, let me ask you the same question. Don't bring me. No, no, because you wanted to come in, so let me ask you. Because I want to know if your understanding is same as his. When I asked I'm just saying him, what he has answered. I've stood here okay. and I've answered. So once again, the question is this. The Son of God, which we know is Jesus Christ. I don't know why we're going over again. Yes, because I want you to answer a simple it's question. Because you want to hear a particular terminology. And if I don't, if I don't answer in that terminology that you would like, you keep going. But I know. Like, 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 like the lady said, I've already answered that question. Okay. I believe I've answered so, that question. So I'm going to make a... You're not so based on your, okay, based on your answer, I'm going to make this conclusion and tell me if I'm wrong. It is a human sacrifice on the cross, a human sacrifice which is approved by God the Father according to you. Am I right making that statement? I, in, in, in terms of my belief in Christianity, um, we don't believe in human sacrifice. We do indeed believe in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And in terms of our um, God preparing our understanding, See what I mean? Yeah, you, you can put it in a box, whichever box you What like. box? I'm just telling you what my... It's either a human who died or it is God who died. You can't have it both ways. No. Because you, God, I know, doesn't die. That, so that rules out Jesus to be ever other than a human sacrifice. By the way, your definition of human sacrifice earlier was the one that is approved by God. Am I right? A human sacrifice, which is... I've never, I've never ever supported human sacrifice in any way. And I've refuted that human sacrifice has anything to do with true Christianity. Okay, what is your definition of human sacrifice? Human sacrifice is um, a human sacrificing another human. Oh, it has to be human sacrificing another human. Did that happen to Jesus Christ? Now, I can't profess to know the true nature of Jesus Christ. No, do you know Why? about the crucifixion? Why? Let me finish. Was it human beings who sacrificed the on the cross a human being? Thank you. Okay? Was it a human beings, the Romans, who sacrificed another human being who is not God the Father, who is not God Almighty? So what else is that other than human sacrifice? Because Jesus Christ is the Son of God. A human? And he can do things that not regular human beings cannot do. Yeah? Well, like the prophets who are human beings? No, 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 no. Like Moses splitting the sea, which the regular human beings can't do. If you'd These are called miracles. If you'd allow me. More than miracles. Jesus Christ did more than miracles. Which is what? Now. Give me one thing that he did more than miracles. That's called a miracle. What did he do more than a human, human being? Go on, tell me. He turned water into wine. That's also a miracle. That's the worst thing to do, actually. Wine is bad for health. It was written, he walked. He walked? He said, that's a, again a miracle. Yeah, yeah. He walked on water. Yeah, that's again a miracle. He's saying he did more things than a miracle. I'm asking, what did he do more than miracles? In fact, no, no, I said he did more than the, the um, um, prophets. Right? Sorry, if I said miracles. No, I didn't say prophets. Said it was because prophets. You said miracles. Because you brought up prophets. Because I said you didn't say prophets. No, because you brought up. I said Jesus Christ. I never said prophets. Please don't put words in my mouth. Okay. So I asked you. Let's Jesus Christ, when he was crucified, yes. why would you not call a human sacrifice when it was humans who sacrificed him, who killed him, and he was a human himself, he was not God Almighty. If you were a criminal... Don't shout, calm down. I know you're American. We need to really know where it was. I'm Canadian, Tadjik. Oh, sorry, you know, sorry, if Canadian. If you're getting tracked down as a criminal, what would you do as why a criminal? Shouting still? Would you hide? Why is the shouting? Would you hide? Why is the shouting? Would you I don't hide? care if you're Canadian, calm down. Okay, the question is this. Was Jesus a human or was he God? Jesus was brought down to actually be here as our God. So was God died by his own creation. Does that make sense to you? I want you to understand that. Can you answer the question, please? His belief. No, not his belief. I'm asking your belief. Do you believe God can die by his own creation? Dog can die. Can not dog, God, God. God can die. Okay. God can die by his own creation. Okay. That means God is not immortal. Uh, uh, what happened? It's a lot different than what you're saying. Yeah. No, it's not. It's the same thing. Question of divinity. At this point, it's a question of divinity. Now, could I just rephrase your question? 
Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, rephrase this question. What he was trying to say that was dumb, yeah. there was a certain incident that happened, which is crucified. Sorry, I can't, I can't hear you. Can you speak up, please? There was a certain incident that happened back in history, <laughs> which is the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Now, he, what he's asking, basically, is for you to elaborate and to explain it. No, no, no. That's not my question. No, no, wait, my question is... No, wait. Let me finish my sentence. Yeah, but you're trying to... Say what I'm saying. I hear you. I hear you. I understand you. Okay. But you have to understand people as well. Fair enough, go on. Yes. Now, what he's trying to tell you straightforward is, okay, does God die? Or, you tell me, is Jesus Christ God? Or is he human? Because if he's God, uh, then he doesn't he's already die. dead. And no, no, if he's... He die. Yeah. And if he's human, then he's already dead. So that rules out the, the, the whole idea that he's actually divine or he's God. Exactly. Were it not going to be that... Um, uh, let's say point your blunt and pointing it out. Let's just ask it from his point of view. What happened? See the recognition of God. If you could tell us, no, no, look, 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 look here. We, we have been, we have been discussing here more than two hours, so we have already covered that okay. for your information. Now the question is this, which is the critical question. You see, in the Bible, we have a particular passage. Is in First Timothy chapter six, verse sixteen. Okay. In that it clearly says, this is for your benefit yeah, as well. Yes, it says, He alone is immortal, okay. who lives in unapproachable light, whom no man hath seen or can see. He's still a man. It says man. Hold on, hold on, hold okay, on. Okay, hold it still on. says man. It says that He alone is immortal. Are you immortal, sir? No, not a chance. Am I immortal? Not a chance. Are you immortal? Are you immortal? So none of us here are immortal. That's correct. According to us, our belief, because we believe in God, I'm assuming this, yes. Is there anyone who is immortal other than God Almighty? Okay, no, that, that's actually is what he's talking about. No, it is. What it he's is. saying is that the one gift from God was given as Jesus to walk the earth. No, that wasn't the question. The question was this. If Jesus Christ, the 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 Jesus Christ, the
that. I, I hear you. Okay, fair enough. However, however, what I truly believe in is that if you're going to come up to me telling me that I need to follow you, I need to believe in you, I need to follow your rituals as a human being, as an immortal, you have to truly convince me by being before my birth, after my birth, after my death, immortal still there. Exactly, However, yes. the Prophet Isa, it was just a timeline, it was a range, it was just So there was a timeline two. where Let finish, let finish, I want to hear the full point. just from two. God gave him miracles. Yeah. Miracles yeah. just like God himself. Sister, can you finish the point about immortality? I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay, well, I'm the leg one. He gave him miracles that would actually confuse people in believing that he's God. I mean, who can raise the dead? Right, but so. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who can actually heal the blind? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here, I understand you. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. We're, I mean, didn't you ever ask yourself, okay, how was he brought down to us? The, mir where, where, okay. where uh, the miracles that you're talking about. Hold, hold on, hold on. I don't think you have completed your statement because the immortal doesn't apply to Jesus because I'll in this... Come, hold come. on, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Right. In this, you, I don't know if this sister you have so you come back. Can you finish? Let me finish. Okay. I don't know if you believe in the second coming of Jesus. Do you believe in the second coming of Jesus? Yes, I do. You do. Do you believe that he will actually die in the second coming? I believe that we will all die. No, will Jesus die in the second coming? Of course, we'll all die one day. We are, yeah. more, we are not immortal. Um, yeah. You believe that, right? Yeah. So that disqualifies him to be immortal. Thank you very much. Now the question back to you. Oh, he'll come back again. Of course he'll come back. But after the second we will, dying. We will all after be the second dying, will he come back again? Can I answer? Well, he's we, talking to Moses. Can I answer? You asked the question. Yeah. Can I answer? We will all be resurrected, not only Jesus. We will all be resurrected. But you see, this is where I'm driving the point, and this is what you need to answer. I'll rephrase the question this time. Okay. Does crucifixion, or forget the crucifixion, does death and resurrection apply to an immortal being? Listen very carefully. Does death and resurrection apply to an immortal being? I think it's an understanding. It's, I, well, answer the question, say, answer the question. I'm going to you right now. Fair enough, good. Fair I'm not going to be loud, but I'm going to be loud enough for people here. Okay. With the crucifixion, it's a showing of the death of a person that will come back to life. Are you going to answer the question or not? And now it hasn't come back to life. Are you going to answer the question or not? Simple when, question. When Jesus does, does come back to life, does, we does, don't even know when it will Listen, come you to haven't answered the question. I'll repeat it again. Jesus does come death, back as a curse. Jesus come back. It doesn't matter what it comes out. Does death and cruc uh, resurrection apply to an immortal being? Yeah, well, yes or no? resurrection is actually the... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I must have, okay? I know you're Muslim. That's, that's a mortality, resurrection. Thank you. But you see, Jesus was both experiencing well, death. No, you're confused a bit there, I think, on that one. Are you, are you telling me... Wait, 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 wait. wait let's immortality, let's deal with the death. from immortality. No, no, no. Dead, you resurrect. Let's, let's deal with the death first. Okay. Did Jesus die three on days and three nights or not? Whatever time it took, well, I'm that's not very important. Say, okay. Because like you said, if you if probably one and a half days it probably took. Not not that so long. you don't believe in Easter Sunday and how long did it take? I'm not sure, but I'm telling you this much. One and a half day? I have no idea. It's still it's still that. Have you ever hung on a fucking crucifix and tried to stay there and live? <laughs> why using uh, I don't know either. Why don't know why using either, right? why using F words now? Is that, sorry, no, is that part of your passion? No, French. Because I don't no. think it's very much passion. It's vulgar. Well Okay, so the question is this. It is, yes. Once again, listen to the question. This is the third time I'm repeating. Does, uh, does uh, death and resurrection apply to an immortal being? Well, you're talking about immortal being as being Jesus, right? No, anyone, anyone. Does that... God is immortal. Does this... Okay, wait. Does this, does this condition God is way higher. God is not a person on our earth. So you're saying God is way higher than Jesus Christ? Who bought all the... Who, who made all these planets? Do you believe Jesus Christ is lower than God? No, I think he's part of God. He's part of God. Then how come he's not having the same nature as God? Because God doesn't change in nature. I'm pretty sure he came down to uh, show us about the actual yeah. thing about God. I mean, no, does he have the same nature as God? Does he not he die? Does actually. he not die? Yeah. Like he was a carpenter Jesus. before he died. You're right. Yeah, yeah. but God is not the carpenter. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. God is not a carpenter. God is not a fisherman. God doesn't die. God knows everything. But you see, Jesus died according to your belief. Jesus doesn't know the last hour. 
which is God knows. Jesus prays and worships to God. Yeah. Does God worship anyone? No, but we were talking about the fact that he will be resurrected. No, we are talking about immortality. Immortality. Resurrected. Immortality. Listen, yeah. anyone who is immortal, i.e. anyone who does not die, there is no question of resurrection, is there? I take that as a positive thing that there is a silence and I want you to I want you to I want you to think about it because if someone doesn't die in the first place I heard your opinion but you're, you're contradicting you you the Bible the Bible says God is immortal and you're immortal how do I know when you come back if I die I'm not immortal okay this guy fell in here guys he's immortal big man if he's immortal he wouldn't die in the first place my friend which part of immortal which part of immortal do you not understand if he's immortal he would never die let alone 15 years he would never ever die okay immortal living forever never dying yeah by the way you know the same definition is in the uh, strong's concordance Honestly, from my point of view, everybody here is thinking and looking at the, at the two literal. We're talking about, yeah, we're talking about immortality and whatnot. To, to be honest with you, no, no, nobody's immortal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The message lives. The message is that the the message. Are you saying that? The individuals are not immortal. No, but she's uh, she's saying they were immortal. You and I have the same religion. So don't say the prophet is immortal. No, they, uh, they do. Because when you pray every single day, yeah. did he die? Sister, did he die? Did he die? No, he come back. Because there's testimony that he died. Did he die? Everyone with the resurrection. Everyone he come back. You are reciting their names. I am. And they I am. have to live forever. So I can ask the But, but the, the, the fact is he died. The fact is he died? Okay. I think we should agree to disagree on this because look, the Prophet Sallallahu died. Musa Sallam died. Isa Sallam will die. You were at the very beginning. Crucifixion. Crucifixion is evidence. Why do you believe that Jesus Christ? Why do you believe that Jesus is God? By the way, he doesn't believe he's God. I don't he's know. a different I kind of Christian, know, just, but he doesn't want to admit that he's not God either. That is basically the argument that's, that's here. Okay. Okay. I, think, I think we should wrap it up because it's been really long. Say human being is immortal. Yeah. By the way, you know, sister, when you say somebody's message is immortal, listen, listen. In English, there are, the term immortal can be, mean different things. I'll give you an example. Wait a minute. There are many. No, we have to, depending on the context, depending on the context, we have to be. Because, listen, there are many people who say that, the, that uh, Mona Lisa is now immortalized in the Da Vinci, sorry, in uh, Leonardo's uh, painting. This term immortal, depending on the context, she's immortalized in the painting. But that doesn't mean that she never died. The term immortal we are talking about was very specific. In 1 Timothy 6.16, when, when God himself says, he alone is immortal. You see the term alone, wait a minute, the term alone here, the term alone is exclusive. It is like me saying, you are, you, you alone are a woman here. That shows exclusivity that you are the only woman, nobody else is a woman here. Okay? Now the question is this when God in the Bible says he alone is immortal, can anybody else be immortal? No, absolutely not. Thank you very much. So when Jesus died according to their, their, uh, their belief, then it rules out that he is in any way, shape, or form God. Because God's one of God's main nature. I know you're a Muslim, Alhamdulillah, you'll agree with me. But what I'm saying, what I wanted to show that other gentleman, the, the Canadian gentleman, was this that when God is immortal, then neither death nor, crucif uh, nor resurrection applies to him. And because Jesus was both, di both died according to the belief and also resurrected, it rules him out to be God Almighty. I hear you. But at the same time, what is very confusing, because I'm talking this from so many points of view, what is very, very he did die. He died. Come on, sister. You got to understand this. Every every prophet, when you talk about wait, wait every prophet experienced that. What is that verse in the in the Quran? Listen, listen. The, the passage in the Quran, sister. With all due respect, listen. Listen to this. You know Arabic. When Allah Allah says, Kullu nafsin da maut. What do you understand? Everybody dies. Thank you. I rest my case. I rest my case. Everybody dies. Including Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He died. 
died. Alhamdulillah. That's what I want to know. You see, no one is immortal except God Almighty. Not your God. Not your God. I think we should wrap it up here. It's been long, okay? I need to go, really. Maybe God, because God doesn't die, let alone by his own creation. That's that's the main message I wanted to give you. Yes, because because when you when you believe that anyone who dies, no, there's only one God, and that God Almighty never dies. Whether you want to call him God the Father or you want to call him anything else, it's irre irrelevant. That one God Almighty who never dies is God Almighty. If anybody else who claims to be God or somebody else claims that person, i.e. Jesus Christ is God, they are mistaken because they, by their own belief that Jesus was crucified and he did die for three days and three nights or even one and a half day, whatever that uh, Canadian guy wanted to believe, that still shows that death is imminent and it's, it is proof that he is not immortal and because he's not immortal it rules him out as God Almighty that's all I wanted to know but, but, but who died on the cross we don't believe that Jesus died on the cross we believe that there was a crucifixion we don't know exactly the name of the person who died but there was somebody who was killed yes. because you know in the Bible it talks about Pontius Pilate gave two options whom do you want to save one guy was called Jesus which they called the Messiah, the Christ, yes, and there was another one called Jesus Barabbas, the son of the father. So there were two Jesuses. Now it's, I'll leave it up to you who died. <laughs> All right, take care, mate. Assalamu alaikum.